Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect any PlayStation controller to your iPad Pro. So the PS4 one here, you can do PS5 and any future controller which releases by PlayStation. So, on your iPad Pro itself, I will need to open up the settings app. From here, tap on Bluetooth and just make sure Bluetooth is turned on and you see now discoverable as. If you don't, tap on the Bluetooth toggle to turn it off, tap on it again to turn it back on. Now we need to put the PlayStation controller in pairing mode. So make sure you turn on your PlayStation controller and may turn, uh, turn on your PlayStation console. Just keep that in mind. So just hold down the PlayStation button to turn it on. From here, we need to put the controller into pairing mode. So in order to do this, you want to hold down share and the PlayStation button together on the PS5. The share button is in a slightly different location, but still works. Just hold both buttons together until you see white blinking on the top of the controller. So it's hard to show it on video you can see the blinking there it's blinking it's like very hard to shop on video i'm going to charge it maybe that will give you a there you go you see the white move it into frame you see that white it's like a quick blink that means you're in pairing mode okay so check the ipad pro you can see other devices dual shock and then you know the version you have so playstation 4 dual shock 4 etc tap on it and now you can see the dual shock 4 has been connected. So if you may say dual shot five, six, whatever, if I go to the home screen, I um, mean, you know, I'm connected, okay. So just, uh, well, it seems like disconnected. So let me just charge this. I think the controller is dead. That's the problem I'm having here. So I'm gonna turn on the controller. Let's see, okay. Uh, I may need to repair, so I'm just gonna do the repair process. I won't make things look perfect, right? Because you know, it really isn't. So right now I'm just restarting the repair, uh, the pairing process. And you can see I'm now connected. So clicking the buttons, right? Controlling the iPad Pro. You can see, look, PayPal selected. I use the D-pad. Boom. Surfshark connect, uh, selected. PayPal. Boom. Okay. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this look perfect. So I had a bit of issues there. Uh, I just needed to do the repair process, reconnect, and I was good to go. So if you're having issues, I restart the iPad Pro. Restart the PlayStation controller. And while you're pairing, just connect the PlayStation controller to power, connect your iPad to power like I am, and that will solve the issue. Because the issue I had is the PlayStation controller was dead, that's why uh, it disconnected. When it's on power, it's going to charge up, and then you'll be good to go. You don't need to keep the PlayStation controller on power 24-7, but you can see I only have 5%, and that's the reason why I had issues. So if you do want to know how to add widgets on the home screen or have a tutorial in the description, uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.